All right, so welcome back. So here's where we left off. We have our great big play button here, and we have it set up so that we should be able to look at different levels, but we haven't built that in yet. So today, we're gonna make it so that we can page through the panels. And as of right now, this is the last tutorial I have planned in this series for a while. Um, I feel like we've got a really good base here, um, and I just kinda need a break from it, so uh, yeah. Uh, I might come back to this later to add some other stuff, but for now, I'm going to call this one good. Um, so, what we want to do here, very first thing, is we're going to create extra panels of these. Then, when we press the right button, we're going to change which panel we're currently on. Left button, we're going to change in the other direction. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my level select panel object here, which has the grid, and then the grid has all the prefabs. Uh, and I'm going to, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go one level up, the level select one that has the panel, the banner, the right button, the left button, and the home button. And I'm going to create an empty game object inside of here. And this empty game object is going to go, like I said, right there. I'm going to call it um, level select manager. And inside my level select manager, I'm going to have a couple duplicates of my level select panel. So I'm just going to make two quick duplicates here using control D. I'm going to make all three of them children of my level select manager. So I'm going to go right in there and right in there. And I want to make sure that my banner is underneath that so that my banner will appear on top of it. Cool. So now one thing I have to do, each of these um, levels know which level they're representing. So I need to make sure that um, that they don't think that they're all like, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I need to make sure that not all grids think that they're one through nine. So I'm gonna change this really, really fast here. Uh, I'm gonna make this, uh, so my regular level grid, or yeah. So level select one is one through nine. This is gonna be, uh, let's make this one, Level 10, level 11, level 12, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to do them all because I don't think I have to do them all. I just have to make sure that, so 10, 19, um, 20, and 21. Because I really only have three levels made, so I just have to make sure that those levels aren't what I don't want them to be. So, on my level select manager, I'm going to make a new script here. It's going to go in my UI scripts. So I'm going to go create C sharp scripts. I'm going to call this uh, level select manager, and I'll open that up in Visual Studio. So what I want to do to my level select manager is I want to have an array of the different panels. So I'm going to make a public game object array and I'm going to call it panels. I also want to have a reference to the current panel. So public game object current panel. Uh, I want to know what current like what page we're on. I'm calling them pages like they're pages out of a book, but which panel we're currently using. So we'll call that a public integer um, page. I want to have a reference to the game data so that I know how far they've been activated so I know which page should be active when you open it. So we're going to have a private game data. I'll just call that game data. Um, and then the last thing I need to know what the current level is. So this is going to be a public int current level, and I'm going to default that to zero. Now in my start method, I'm going to make a uh, complete the reference to the game data. So I'm going to say game data is equal to, um, I'm going to use find object of type. I know it's not the most economical way. Um, but I don't think I tagged my game data, so um, there we go. So find object of type game data. Then I want to take a look at 
all of my panels and make them all inactive right away. So 4 int i is 0, i is less than panels.length i++. Plus plus. I'm going to say um, panels i dot set active false. So I'm making all of my panels inactive first. Um, okay, next thing I want to do is I'm going to check to see if game data is null. So if game data is not null, and then I'm going to grab some information for the game data from game data. I'm going to say for um, int i is equal to zero, i is less than I want to do game data dot save data. So I'm looking at all the active levels dot is active uh, dot length. So I'm looking at all of the possible levels and we'll do i plus plus. Then I want to say if oops game data dot save data dot is active i if the current level is active then I want to say current level is equal to i. So it's going to keep reassigning the current level until it reaches the last level. Um, and so that way current level is going to be whatever the last level was so that we know essentially which panel to set active in the beginning so that the user isn't always paging through like a million panels. Um, okay, cool. And now I'm going to use some fancy math here to know which page that relates to because this relates to the, um, the level but we have nine levels per page. We want to know which page that should be. So to do that, I'm going to say page is equal to, I'm going to cast this as an integer, and what I'm looking for is the floor of the current level divided by 9, because I have 9 levels per page. So floor of current level divided by 9. The floor function, so let's say that we do our current level, let's say our current level is like 17. That's on the second page, because the first page is 1 through 9, second page is 10 through 18. So if we do 17 divided by 9, you end up with um, like, you know, 1.8 or something like that. We want that to be um, 1, which means that we want our page to be 1, which is the second page. And then from there, um, we're going to say that our current panel is equal to panels and from panels we want to grab page so the one that our current level is a part of and then we want to set that one active so panels page dot set active true okay so that's going to make sure that the right panel is active when we start up now uh, we're going to have two little methods here one for page right and one for page left so uh, first, I'm going to make a public void page right, and I'm going to say if page is less than panels dot length minus one, meaning if we have room to go one more to the right, one more up, then we're going to say that the current panel uh, is inactive dot set. No, no, no set active false so we're setting the current panel inactive we're going to increase our page and then we're going to say that our current panel is equal to panels page so it's the next like we're moving our panel over one and then we're going to say that our current page our current panel sorry dot set active true so we're replacing the old one uh, okay, cool. And then we're going to make something similar for our page left. So I'm just going to grab this method. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to make this, instead of page right, I'm going to make this page left. And instead of page being less than that, 
it should be greater than zero. So over here, zero. And then instead of paging up, we're gonna page down. All right, cool. So I'm gonna save my script. I'm gonna go back into Unity here. It's gonna compile for a second. I'm gonna grab my level select manager once it's done thinking. And I'm going to put my level select manager script on it. It needs to know what the panels are. So I'm just gonna drag my panels over here. You, you wanna make sure you have these in order too so that your you know level one is here. Um, those are nothing right now. Now I'm gonna go find my buttons. So my right button, I'm going to add a function to it. This function is gonna come from the level select manager and we're gonna go from the level select manager script and we're gonna go page right. And we're gonna do the same thing with page left. From level select manager, level select manager, page left. So let's try this out. Let's hit play. Do, do, do. Okay, so we got our level, level two, page right, page right again, no further, middle page, left page. And you can see these turn on and off over here. So if I press page right, the middle one becomes active. Again, the last one becomes active. So there we are, cool. And home takes me back here. So um, it's been really fun. Um, I feel like maybe the quality of my teaching got worse as I went. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I release new videos. You can uh, join my Discord where I'm chatting much more often lately. Um, yeah, just in general. I hope you enjoyed this. This was was overall very fun for me. So, um, like I said, I might revisit this later to add new features and whatnot. But for now, have yourselves a wonderful day.